Hi friends, my name is Nikhil and I'm your friendly neighborhood gamer guy. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Grand Theft Auto 5. Before starting this video, I would request you all to please subscribe to my channel because I keep making gaming videos every single day and I would love it if you would watch more of my videos. So having said that, let's begin. So to give you a short introduction about GTA 5, it is the fifth installment in the GTA series by naming convention because there were many different games in GTA series like Liberty City Stories, Vice City Stories. So I don't know what exact number this is, but yeah, GTA 5. And I played this game quite early on before even the FPS mode was introduced in the game. I remember they introduced the FPS uh, mode after they launched the PS4 version. So uh, the FPS mode was for PS4 as well as PC. But since I played it on PS3, I felt like it, I was part of the beta testing process or something like that. So the thing that differentiates GTA 5 from the other GTA installments is that this game was the first one to introduce three player protagonists right and there was this huge story arc built around that uh, gameplay mechanism because there were many missions wherein you could play as all three characters simultaneously and uh, you could switch between characters you, even in the free roam mode you are given the choice to switch between three characters you can play either as franklin trevor or michael uh, my favorite personally was michael because i think i relate more towards his personality uh, trevor was a bit like you know Trevor's personality was that of a typical GTA gamer who just runs over uh, all the pedestrians and doesn't give a shit about anything. And Franklin was this balanced guy, you know, he, he gave out this whole vibe of, I think, to a certain extent, CJ, uh, to say, because his personality matched more like CJ. Uh, Michael's personality matches more like Nico Bellic to some extent. I, and whatever choices you make, they affect your end result. Because, spoiler alert over here, uh, at the end, either there is a, a one player character death or two player character death or you all the three characters are alive. So, you know, the way you make decisions inside the game while playing the mission, uh, that affects that how much how many players will be left at the end of the game. So if you play it perfectly, by the end, all three of your characters will survive. So that, that's what I loved about this game. Now, as I mentioned in my GTA 4 video that GTA 4 compares better in terms of realism uh, with GTA 5. Uh, you can just check out my video over there. I have put a link in the description for that. And uh, coming to the map of the game, of course, the map of this game was bigger than GTA 4. However, they used the map of San Andreas and as mentioned in the game. But I was a bit disappointed when I saw that th there was no Las Venturas or San Fierro in the game. So that felt like something was missing out. Uh, in terms of the online mode, GTA Online is still uh, quite popular nowadays because Rockstar Games is going on launching updates and updates for its online version. So that's one thing. But I have not personally played GTA Online, so I would not like to comment on that. And in terms of Easter eggs, there were a lot of hidden references in the game. Uh, many players discovered that there was a book called Red Dead by Jay Marston which was a clever reference to John Marston or Jack Marston from Red Dead Redemption. Uh, it is definitely Jack Marston who wrote that book because John Marston was dead and at the end of Red Dead Redemption the story arc was like Jack Marston goes to a city and then he pens down an autobiography and that is where, uh, that is where the book was published. So that was one Easter, Easter egg. Then there's this Easter egg of Bigfoot uh, roaming around in the jungles of San Andreas and a lot of other things. So this game is filled with huge Easter eggs as well as there are many side activities like you can uh, do scuba diving, cycling. Cycling is a huge pastime and I enjoyed cycling throughout the uh, jungle area and uh, huge landscapes. It was beautiful to just go out there and out of the mission storyline just keep on cycling or perhaps even driving felt so good in this game you could literally spend countless hours just driving from one point to the other and never getting bored there's so much of things to do like uh, there are many mini games as well to play 
as well as if you just want to rest at home you can also watch some tv the tv also has a lot of different channels in there and not to forget the radio stations the radio stations i think rockstar games licensed a lot of hollywood songs for this particular game and many of the songs were also introduced for the first time inside the game you know th- like many songs were launched inside the game so whichever i, th- I don't remember which ones but yeah i did hear about these and the the most interesting part about this game was definitely the share market because it, it, this game had a near to perfect simulation of investing in the stock market and you uh, you know while playing the mission storyline if if let's say your outcome affects some company then their uh, share price will rise or fall according to your outcome so you know you could r- really uh, buy stocks and then affect the outcome in order to make the stock price higher and then sell them out afterwards so th- that was a great thing and i i remember i minted billions because of investing in share market inside the game i don't know if the same logic will work in real life who knows i never invested in share market so i don't know uh missions missions were amazing there was this one mission where in trevor was torturing like literally torturing someone to get out information so that felt a bit extreme but you know i had fun torturing <laughs> anyway so there was one more mission wherein there was a parody of facebook ceo mark zuckerberg you have this mission spoiler alert of course you have this mission wherein you go to this uh, pl- uh, life invader which is the reference to facebook life invader office you go there you rig the phone that is the ceo of life invader is going to unveil this new phone over there and what you do is you rig that phone with a bomb then you finish the mission then what you do is you wait for some time come to your home switch on the tv and there's this live announcement going by that ceo of life invader he is like unveiling this phone and then suddenly what you have to do is you have to make a call from your phone to that phone and as soon as you make that call and he picks up the phone explodes and literally he's like he's picking up the phone and boom so <laughs> uh that that was the funniest and the most brutal part of this game i think and one more uh exciting thing about this game is that all the websites that you see inside the game are real life domains so you know uh, lifeinvader.com if you go ahead and check it out it's a live website so that is what adds in the fourth dimension to this game that you whatever you see inside the game is coming out as well and the city is amazing city is densely populated and the in this game was I, do, i think it was teased around in 2012 and since then not 2012 i think even before that i, I don't properly remember but as soon as I, st- i saw this game i was like shit i am anxiously waiting that is what happens with all the rockstar titles you know uh, i'll tell you one interesting thing about this game red dead redemption by rockstar games i bought that game and i bought a ps3 just to play that game so that is that is the level of effort that rockstar puts in their games that it excites gamer to such extent that they are ready to go to any limits to play their game and i completed this game without any cheats because i didn't know how to activate those cheats on ps3 uh, I, i really don't know because i don't uh, use cheats on my playstation 3 um so i had to literally sit and complete even the difficult missions by myself uh one more interesting thing about this game is that if you fail a mission 3 times it gives you an option to skip that particular part so i i felt that was a good thing because there are many missions uh, which are frustrating to a some extent and i think rockstar games has learned this from yc you remember that helicopter mission which i talked about in my yc video so yeah i think rockstar games uh, understands the game or perfectly and they will make they will leave no stone unturned to make their games better than rest of the games in the market so and i hope they keep on making such games i'm i'm really waiting for gta 6 to come out uh, i don't know when they'll announce that game there are many uh, trailers and videos online but all of them are fake until and unless rockstar doesn't announce anything about gta 6 all of the videos that you see online are fake so wait till you hear from rockstar about gta 6 and in the meanwhile please subscribe to my channel 
to get more gaming videos like this i'm active on facebook so you can follow my facebook page i keep updating all my status updates over there regarding my new videos and stuff so having said that i will end this video let me know in the comments uh, which was your favorite moment in gta 5 and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching have a nice day and goodbye